Hello, Rebels and Rabble Rousers. My name is TB Skyne, and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok, where Arashi... Okay, thank you for that subscription. Just this moment. Uh, good timing. <laughs> My name is TB Sky, and welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. We are in the camp of the Vanir, where I accidentally triggered a little bit of dialogue where Mimir is asking a uh, big man with big uh, who sits there about how the little guy there is doing. He, rests. he didn't have much to say. preparations on your end before we spring fair? Just this. It prepares my mind. Okay. Let's see, who else can we talk to? Do you guys have more ambient dialogue over here? Nope. Do you have any? Okay? Hmm? His time with the Ainher Yard wasn't pleasant. But Lunda can patch people as well as armor. With some rest, he'll be fine. How about you? We're going to rescue your husband. No? Not at all? Okay. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Big Fear, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. Okay, let's, um... Hi, Freya. How many expressions do you have? <laughs> oh, you have some. <laughs> oh, you can do some fun stuff with photo mode. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Well, that seems like a plan that couldn't possibly go wrong. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay. Yeesh! Jerks. Hmm, those are big tracks. that thank you Ugh, whites hate those guys okay well Nah, I'm good. Okay, that's less great. Oh, there's a fucking knockin'. 
Where is it? Just undoing all my goddamn damage. Like a jerk. God damn it, Kratos. There we go. Last enemy. There we go. They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Disadvantages are many. Let's see. Did I remember to equip my... Yes, I did. Good. <laughs> Motherfucking... Oh my god. Okay, well... Not anymore, he's not. Oh, but another one is. Where? What the fuck? Oh, I see. Ah, uh, no kin. Mm, nothing down here then. No, not really. Okay. Not taking any chances with that. Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. I'm sure it won't have any negative consequences to just like randomly change the time of day all the time. Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Whoa. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. <laughs> Bye. Okay, my axe was a bit slow to come back to me there. Oh, come on! There we go. Yeesh. The Norn said you'd kill Heimdall. 
but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive. Treasure chest. La -da -da -dee, poison plants. Little motherfuckers gonna try and hurt me. Need to be aware of them and get them first. Yeah, like you. And there was nothing there. Okay, well. On. Really? Okay, I guess it's just gonna open when we go around. Fine. Oh. Alright, just know that I've got you in my sights. On your mark. Hello. Enemy behind you. Oh, fuck off. Oh, it's not ready yet. That's why. I was trying to do that. And I just like, I couldn't understand why it wasn't happening. It's because it wasn't ready. That's probably fine, though. That was a way to go. Silver. I should check Freya's skills, by the way. Yes. Oh, 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 I wouldn't. 
I wasn't planning to fight a boss, but... Yeah, no shit. Oh, Jesus! Whoa! Yeah. It does a lot of damage to me. I, th I think I might be able to beat it, but... Not easily. Whoa, jeez. Whoa! Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. I think maybe that's an optional boss for later then. This way. Yeah, you have a point, Freya. This way, actually. Oh, hey, new hook. We encountered this creature in the jungles of Vanaheim. Freya later told me of the legend he carried with him. Stories of his fierceness were told to young Manir children to keep them in line. She would not say how much Manir blood has been spilled by his claws, but from the solemnity of her voice it was no small amount. With the beast slain, no, Kratos, I'm afraid not. Parents will need to find a new way to scare their offspring into obedience. That was an unearned Blast. codex entry. Well, it was in our way. I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Indeed. What are we doing? Maybe your spear can get us across. Yes. Oh, I see. once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. <laughs> Call on Skull, please. Call on Skull. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. Looks like no one noticed that. <laughs> We're coming for you, Ingvi. Fireworks! Completely giving away your position. <laughs> what idiots! Hey, buddy! It's gonna be fun to talk to you. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Mm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. 
I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. This is gonna be good. Yeah. Let's have some fun. No. What you got? Presumably I'm only gonna get to kill his mount here. Not going to lie. I'm disappointed. Oh, so aggressive. So angry. Have some vibra on me. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna take it slow with this. <laughs> really? You are the one who killed Balder? Oh, well, Atreus helped. Okay. So, what are we doing? He doesn't have a lot of attacks, but I would imagine that this doesn't get fun until I take care of him. Nope. I'm not really fighting my hardest yet either, kiddo. Anyway, say goodbye to your little dog. Having fun yet? Oh well, you and me then. So, presumably, if you could hit Probably, yeah. No. Come on. Fight me. Are we doing this again? Okay. You are rudely prolonging all this. Yes, I'm distracting you. Yeah, but what if we just didn't? Well, I'm waiting. What if we just didn't? What if we just uh Whoa, okay. I hope the rescue is going better than this fight. I can feel your frustration. It is immensely satisfying. What now, brother? The spare remains our best chance. Any day now. He is fortunately incredibly stupid. Hey, careful! These are new braces. <laughs> Because he can't see the intent of an object. Guess I'm just doing this. Placing it on little landmines and hoping to catch him. Yeah, so now he's seeing through that. Damn it. 
Would you please stand still long enough to get hit by it? Thank you. Yeah. So I need him to walk into it now. Which means putting it down on my feet and then getting him to... Yep. Intentionally so. Take a little hit to the face, you piece of shit. Actually hit me. Slow down. Okay. I don't remember the last time anyone hit me. Well, you're about to get some new memories of it. Oh my, have we lost our ability to predict my movements? <laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a car. Maybe not so much. Slow down. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to do anything about that. Come on, brother. You hit him once. Just gotta find the right opening. You know, pain is not as bad as I remember. It's about to get worse, kiddo. Okay, not really. When was the last time I even used this? It will be over soon. Will it? Fuck! That's all this is. Satisfying. Wait. What is going on in that empty head? Oh, no, no, no. You are going to spare me out of pity. Yep. <laughs> that was good. Go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him. Good luck doing that without an arm. This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. Hey, Captain Goldteeth. That is not how this works. <laughs> Oh, hey, he can regenerate like uh, Tyr did. You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. Huh. Someone's pissed. Okay. Way over your head. Don't you know who I am? Don't you? I am the watchman of the AC, the herald of Ragnarok. My turn. Nope. Someone's upset -y. Whoa, jeez. Okay. Only one of us is walking away from this. I really fucking would like the targeting system to stay on him. Dare try and spare me. 
yeah. That was gonna happen. Please tell me I don't have to restart this fight from the very beginning. No, I don't. Okay. Slow down. You are way over your head. Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Aesir, the Herald of Ragnarok. It's very annoying that the targeting system just lo loses track. Also, I wish I could tell where and when the fuck... me both, buddy. But don't worry. <clears throat> I'm gonna take your other arm in a minute. Those are the words. Monster, huh? I was hoping we'd just, like, take his legs or something. Breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. Just, just gonna. Just, that was just for me. Heimdall was everything described a cruel, pompous bully and a formidable foe. His gifts of intuition were nothing to be ignored, nor was his unexpected mastery of the Bifrost. When I struck a blow that should have ended the fight, I tried to heed the voice in my head that he was beaten, not worth killing. But Heimdall sensed my pity, and it shamed him. His pride would not allow him to accept my mercy, so in the end I gave him none. It was not my choice, and yet I feel... satisfied. Have I proved the Norns wrong? Or have I proven them... right? Good questions all. Increases melee damage during realm shifts. Wait, realm shifts? Oh! Oh, oh, hmm. Mm. Okay, that might be cool. That might be cool. That might be cool. That might be cool. That could be cool. That could be kind of cool. That could be cool. It could be cool in a in a cool way. Could be cool. So what's new over here? Oh, I forgot I actually had that. No. Ah. When was it that you wanted me to... It said there was a new thing here, but I'm not seeing it. 
Anyway. Alright, well, let's see if he stays dead. You can upgrade the general's charge. Ah, I see. Yeah, slow cursor. No, I can't. Doesn't look that way, anyway. Like, I know I'm supposed to be able to mod an existing skill, but... I ain't seeing none of them. Oh, there one. That that one. I'm an idiot. I don't have enough experience to do it though. Ah -ha. I I uh, like I know things are probably going to end poorly, but I don't really feel sad about killing Heimdall. And Kratos apparently also has uh less than conflicted feelings about it. Hey, a little help? At least the rescue's going well. I wouldn't be surprised if Heimdall turns out not to be dead yet, though. What am I? Oh, circle, jump. Let's just do a little bit of crop control there, shall we? Okay, don't like that. So are we just fighting or do I have to do something? Okay. Now, you. Hello. Very unfair of you to attack me while I was midair. That's super not cool of you. Sure we can. As long as they keep dropping health stones, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't be able to hold out forever. very annoying when they're just out of your range, you know? It's gonna be a lot smaller in just a second, don't worry. Kratos, please actually hit the thing. Okay, well. Also, could he please actually be vulnerable? I feel like I have him down where he should be vulnerable to, like, a, an R3, but doesn't seem to be happening. Can you move? 
Jeez. That was annoying. Why didn't I? No. Sit tight. We'll figure something out. I will carry him. You what? No, I can make it. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow. Easy. To me. Follow. We, uh, get company back here. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Okay, so that's right and left. Okay, I see. We're almost there, right? Archers ahead! I can't really see what I'm doing, so. Oh, L1. Doi. That's the first quick time event sequence we've had. Where's the boat? Where's the boat? Where is the boat? Let's throw it in the river. Oh, oh! <laughs> okay, right, yes. So that's actually a thing. Um, Frey, Freyer has a ship. It's called Skilblauner. Um, it's a ship that's folded into a piece of paper. It's essentially a little paper folded ship. Um, and when you throw it, it unfolds into, well, in the mythology, it's a full galleon, like a huge actual warship, just absolutely massive. Uh, don't know that there's room for that here, but he has that. It's called Skillblender, and it's actually a gift that was gotten for him by Loki. Um, as part of the as part of the same story story where Loki acquires like Thor's hammer and Gulenbuster, which is a a, a boar that uh, Freya likes to ride, and the golden hair for Sif and Drupna for Odin. But yes, he has that. Ah, oh, that's cool. It's cool that that's there. For long. Oh, of course, here. Freya's boat. They will regroup. We should go. Waterfall? Okay. This yeah, that bad. looks like a waterfall. Hang on. Ah, it would be <laughs> magical. <laughs> you should have seen your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. Oh, that's We're gorgeous. Fine. I knew it would do that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Wyverns. We have guests. Oh, that looks like a heroic sacrifice moment. Don't do that, though. Oh, 
friends and foes who fight together. Something? I know I'll never die. As long as I protect something. Hmm. It's some kind of oath that he just gave. Very out of nowhere. the end of Birger. You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Yeah, that was kind of, like, it sort of depends. If he's actually dead, that kind of sucks. Like, that's, I don't, that was very arbitrary to sort of like, oh, suddenly there are Viverns, and oh no, Birger has to sacrifice himself. I guess it's to create a point of character conflict or drama, like maybe Freyr loses faith or something, but... It, it is a little bit silly to have, like, this dramatic, like, pull-in on the face of beloved character Birger, who has had a total of, like, ten seconds of voice lines in the game, as he, like, realizes what must be done to say... Because it doesn't have any emotional resonance when the character is just, for our intents and purposes, some fucking rando. Um, that's a little weak, honestly. <laughs> like, may maybe they do something good with it, but, hmm. Anyway, uh, there was a subscription from Roundabout roundabout for, with Prime a few minutes ago. Thank you. And Syndra 25 minutes ago. Thank you for your subscription as well. Anyway. Lunda. Lunda, we need cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's press. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh. Now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Damn it, Linda! Easy. Heck you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vadaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies. Sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. Oh, Freya, you'd know. Make a man mm. here god proud. Maybe maybe don't comment on Kratos' skin color. For multiple reasons. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary. Not because it was written. Prophecy holds that Galahorn is the herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it... Holds it, Treus. We will discuss in private. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, for those who don't know, Kratos' skin is ashen. 
because, well, it's made of ash, and it is the ash of his family who he murdered and burned um, in a blind, psychotic, God-induced rage. So it's like, it's a reminder of his shame, and it's a signify in his character design, it's a signifier of his guilt, and it's why he's called the Ghost of Sparta, is because he's so ashy and pale. Uh, so you kind of, a little incense, like, Freya don't know, doesn't know that, but it's, um, you, you don't, you don't, uh, you don't want to necessarily, you don't want to necessarily comment on that, it's a little insensitive. Uh, yeah, Dragoff also subscribed, I don't know if I called that out, thank you very much for that. And... Let's go around the camp. I'm sorry, love. Biru is the one who found me wounded in the jungle when I was trying to find my way back here. Watched over me as I slept. Yes, beloved character. Mm, Biru. If you want to thank him, don't get captured again. Promise. I promise, love. Oh, someone we asks. The consul's journal. Someone asks in chat how Nilhug is supposed to be pronounced. In Danish, it is Nilhuk with a soft the nilh nilh. Um, it sort of depends on the language. I I believe in if it's Swedish pronounced it's Nithuk. I think Swedish might have a harder Nithuk, uh, possibly. Um, but nilh the 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 it's th. It's the same mouth uh, shape you make to make th, th right like th, but you just voice it so it's th nilh hook. But, you know, if you can't pronounce it, don't worry. Danish is one of the most infuriatingly difficult languages to learn if you're not native. Thank you, Kratos. It is exactly what we were hoping for. The Consul risked everything to understand the mistakes of our past. And now those lessons can live on. Thank you, Kratos. The elves and we won't forget this. They aren't liable to forget all the bloodshed between them either. There's a path towards peace for all of us. Nobody said this would be easy. How about you? Can I get some dialogue out of you? What do we do now? Lay low. Mourn. Rest. And then we continue the fight. The four of us? Five. Counting the dog. Helka ran off not long before your return. We have to decide whether or not to abandon this camp. Its location may now be compromised. I was not followed. If I am sure of anything, I am sure of that. I'll follow the dog in a second, chat. Don't worry. I knew he'd left something behind. Heimdall is dead. Good. Is it? Look, I don't know from faith, but I know Heimdall was a prize-winning taint stain with a capital stamp. If he was gonna hurt your boy, it's a good thing he ain't around no more. The Norns didn't quite see it that way. The opinion of them three shut-in spinsters ain't worth a goat fart in a hurricane. You did what you did. No need to fret about it. Hope you and your loin sprout ain't got any holes where you don't want them. We are fine. Oh, honey, you don't have to worry about him. Gave him a once-over just as soon as Freyr was patched up and on his way. Did you now? <laughs> Hmm. Let's see. Spear. Ooh, hello. Stun grabbing an enemy grants a rage burst. That is not bad at all. Uh, yeah, I think I might swap over for that, but I'm not going to upgrade it because I only want to upgrade the original things. To get the... to the stat bonus. Don't quite have the hack silver for it. Okay, but maybe I can sell some stuff. I, oh, I also need a resurrection stone, actually, come to think of it. Uh, special items, resources. Oh, I have one. I have a resurrection stone. I thought I used it. Oh, no, I didn't. I died. I died again. It was that optional little bastard. So, 
I should be able to get this thing to... Yes. Level 7, at least. Level 9, actually, too, if I want. But I'll leave that for now. Find where their forces scattered. I'll check the perimeter traps and make sure they're still set. And when did Lord Freyr put you in charge? He didn't. And I don't want it. But when I have counsel to give, I can't help but give it. Love, he taught Lord Freyr everything he knows. That is good enough for me. I know. I'm just... tired. As are we all. Let us rest. I think we have all the ambient dialogue now, or unless he triggers something new when he's standing over here. Do you? I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touch- Say something! Come on! Okay, well, fine. Fair enough. Let's go follow the dog. What does that mean? Helka smell something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. Okay, fine. We'll do that. That'll be the last thing before we cut the episode. Tracks. Helka's. Where are you leading us, girl? So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home. Do we? Oh my god. Kratos. Just boat- get the boat in the thing. Look! Tracks from the olfactorily gifted hound. Seems we're on the right path. Hey girl, we're here. Guess we should follow her. Little slobber balls, quite the tracker. More of Helka's tracks. I dare say she's got as skilled a nose for hunting as you, brother. Hers is superior. The eyes can lie, the nose cannot. Does that make you wish you could turn into an animal every once in a while? No. <laughs> and there she goes. <laughs> Looks like we're on Halka's trail. I mean, yeah, there literally isn't another path we could go here, so... I have an achievement called the Huntsman. Hunt, 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 he's the Huntsman! Ah, she went over that ridge. But we can't follow her at this time of night. Conveniently, the sun and the stars are at our command. And once again, wow, the pop in. <laughs> Guess even the PS5 can't load things quite that fast. Flare. That's gotta 
might be Birger. She wants us to rescue him. It's nice to see Skilblanner. <sighs> Helke is a hound of unusual girth who is kept by the allies of Freyr's camp. Her tracking skills are impressive. If Birger survives to return home from his fall into the jungle, he will have the dog to thank for his life. Eee. So we can't, like, free fly. How could Birger have survived a fall like that? Magic, perhaps. Let's make sure to ask once we've extricated him from this situation. This is very pretty. It's also a great way to conceal loading screens. <laughs> like to conceal assets being loaded Should in. It'd be easy to find Birga from up here. Why did everyone sound so scared at this place? Uh, on that note, Dragon! Ah, well, hmm. Atreus! I'm fine! You? Hmm. Mm. <laughs> Well, he seemed angry. What do you suppose that means? We are going the right way. Where are we, anyway? Looks to be the ruins of a once thriving Vanier settlement. What happened? Don't rightly know. More reason to find a way out. The controller was shaking there for a second, and it does that every once in a while. What are we getting force feedback from here? Okay, we have a mystic gateway, um, but that's weird, um, presumably not where we're supposed to... Her? Oh, over there, doi, where they painted it on the walls. Wait, why is there frozen lightning here? That signal, Yuger's alive. Not for long if that dragon has its way. It will not. Do you see what I'm seeing? A lightning bolt. Except it's frozen. Like the one made in my fight with Thor. But why would there be one just like it here in Vanaheim? Darn. Uh, I forgot to track the thing. That is a good question, Mimir. Ah! <laughs> okay. Well... The dragon's back, and it's angry. Oh, how flattering. Hi. Do you do you want to fight or? Ow. Whirlwinds, kind of small though. Might be magical. They are a bit odd. What would you have us do about them? Don't know. Maybe if we came back at night, they'll change somehow. Oh lord, okay, well. Oh, fuck off. Oh, 
Okay, so this seems like a longer quest than I actually anticipated that it would be. So let me just get rid of our friends here. As we seem to have landed on something of an a step or a savanna. What's this plate doing here? Must have been built recently. Huh. So this seems like a longer side quest than I had anticipated, which means probably sensible at this point to cut the episode here. So if you're watching on stream, don't worry, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna find Birger at the very least. Um uh, and uh <laughs> See if see if he see if he's somehow alive. Seems to be. And yeah, do some more stuff. But for those who are watching on YouTube, as you can tell, the video is over now. If you want to watch more, you're gonna have to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to watch episodes on this channel early before everyone else does, then you're gonna have to become a member of the channel. And if you want to watch these episodes being recorded live, head on over to my Twitch. Um and subscribe there if you want to watch the VODs from the stream. There's a bunch of in-between episodes hanging out bits that you otherwise don't like that don't really make it over onto YouTube. So if you're curious about that, hey, you you can go and have that if you want. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Remember to be kind to one another and have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves. And I hope the tides of history wash gently over us all. <laughs>